what's up YouTube, welcome to the coffee pod, my name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Why women deny their husbands sex after marriage. Let's get it. No, why we can't have sex? I just, gee, I don't have any effort to- Mmm, bullshit. I'm gonna put some faces up on the screen and y'all can tell me if her answer changes. Still tired? Wait, wait, are y'all still tired? Hmm? Are you really tired? Or are you just really not attracted to your partner? Well, the story is bullshit. You guys forget why you get into these relationships, especially women who get married. How do you think you got that ring in the first place? I've been a little freaky deek. When you guys made these excuses like, oh, I'm just tired from being a mother. Understand there's a grace period in being exhausted after having kids. But do y'all know how many other women, specific Spanish women, them things snap back. How many Spanish friends I have? Beat that statistic. You got girls out there from Venezuela and Colombia doing that thing thing snapping back after babies because they know what it takes to hold on a man. I'm just being purely honest. If you don't like your man, just say that. But don't say that you're too tired or you're exhausted. Just say you're comfortable. Just say that you don't feel like there's a chase anymore. Take it here by example. I guarantee you, you won't be that tired no more. All right, you guys heard it for yourself. She says, why is it that, that they are women? Other groups of women out there, she mentioned a few, that after marriage, they want to and know how to please their man. And her basic point was, just say the truth. Say that there is no chase anymore. Say that you're not really attracted to him or you don't feel an urge um, to want to please your man. We hear it all the time, man. We know that married men get the least play in the bedroom. I've often asked, are girlfriends better than wives? And most cases, I would say yes. And the reason why that is, is I've stated, girlfriends always have something to work towards while wives feel like they've arrived and usually don't see anything else that they have to work for, keep up, or maintain. And this often leads to sexless marriages and eventually divorce. And we don't like that coffee. Put that coffee down. As always, we got a few comments here. First comment who the creator actually responded to reads, the moment my wife and I got engaged, I noticed things slowed way down. She responded to this and said, the moment my wife and I got engaged, I noticed that things slowed down. Mm. Dude, I feel you. I feel you so bad, it's terrible. As somebody who worked in the beauty industry for literally 10 years, I've watched this shit happen a thousand times. This bullshit culture of accepting me for how I am. Weight doesn't matter. If he really loves me, he would da 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 da. Bullshit. Women and men are just wired different. It is always a race in men's mind. It's always the best competition. I gotta keep this girl. I gotta keep my job. I gotta keep my shit together. When they let themselves go, it's cause you let your shit go. For women, it's like, oh, I got the ring. I'm done racing. I'm no longer on the hunt. That's not how life works. This is why you guys have this idea. I don't wanna compete for a man. It's not competing for a man. It's competing for the best version of yourself. For all you lying hefts out there, body positivity. Why do y'all get so skinny before your wedding? And why do you let your shit go afterwards? Why do you think you can change the variable and get pissed at the result? And they're saying it and y'all are not listening, but you want them. Think about that shit. Wow. 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 Now that was coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Mercy. She spoke some facts there. She says, why do you think you can change the variable, but still expect the same results? It's, it's, we literally live in a clown world. It's crazy that these conversations have to be had. There are women out here who think once they get married, I shouldn't have to look a certain way. If the number on the scale affects your love for me, then you're not the one for me. But you got hella skinny before to fit in that wedding dress, right? Because you wanted to look good for your man. You kept things up. You let him bust those cheeks, right? To keep him happy. But in the marriage, women don't think they have to do anything. And as a man, this goes both ways. You must stay on your shit. You must also stay in the gym. You must also stay on top of your finances. It doesn't mean you have to earn six figures, but you got to stay on your game also, right? I have to say that because we've got men who are really woman-minded in disguise. They want their women to stay with them and treat them with love while they do absolutely nothing. I got to call you out as well. But we're back here to what is typically the case. Typically women are denying sex because they don't think they have to put out. And sometimes it's not that the woman is denying the man. Sometimes it's that the woman has let herself go so much that he no longer finds her attractive. Men are still visual. They don't stop being visual after you get married. If you want your marriage to improve, then you have to stay in shape for yourself, but also for your husband, right? You gotta compete for your man. You gotta also compete to keep 
your man. As always, we're going to check out a few of these comments. Let's see what the people have to say. First comment here reads, so you just always have to be in the mood. And if you're not, you must not be into your partner. Sometimes we just don't want to deal with the cleanup. Well, again, we're not talking about understandable situations here. That's not what people usually hear when they hear of sexless marriages. They hear couples who've gone months, which is crazy, months without having sex and the woman not wanting to do anything to help that. Next comment here reads, that's the most efficient way to let a man know you still want him. If you have no desire for that reassurance, I'm gone. And I think this commenter is talking about you two actually having intimacy in the bedroom. Next comment from a woman here reads, takes more than attraction to really feel your man. You can be physically attracted all day, but when other things aren't in order, I don't want it. Hmm. So what if your man decided, you know what, I'm not going to fulfill my financial responsibility because, hey, I'm just not feeling it because this is totally based on feeling right here. When she says things aren't in order, she means I'm mad at my husband and there's things we have to work out. Our final comment here reads, when it's a bait and switch, guys recognize that and will adjust accordingly. Don't be mad or surprised. And what I think this guy's uh, implying is like bait and switch. If you switch up, don't be surprised if your man cheats. There are a lot of women out here who will switch up when it comes to the bedroom. And I think bedroom fun are one of those important discussions that I think should be had. Another point I've made in past videos is, you know, you've got to keep up requirements for your woman. She can't feel like once she's entered that relationship, she doesn't have to do anything to maintain your attraction for her. You got to stay on top of her. You got to have standards and requirements. You're always, as the man, going to have the burden of performance. Always. To the day you die. But there are men out here who get a woman and they're just like, no, babe, just stay home. Just go watch TV, Netflix. You know, you're just, you're just chilling. And you don't have any expectations or requirements. You got to keep up those expectations or requirements. And you can't be in a situation where you're not afraid to walk away. You got to be ready to walk away. And of course, you'd have set yourself up so that in case things don't work out, you're not getting screwed over by the system, you know, in court. But that's all for me. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Listen, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.